Hey guys, what's going on? So, with all these clown sightings, chasings, huntings, attacks, you know, we thought it'd be a good idea to do a full recap of it all. It's hard to remember them all because there's been so many. Unfortunately, but before that you got to know I'll be answering your comments or questions at the end of this video So you got to stick around and if you were to see a clown you got to tell me what would you do? No weapons or anything. Let's just say you saw a creepy clown just staring at you. He didn't attack you He didn't have a knife or a machete. He was just staring. What would you do? You gotta let me know in the comments down below So where did this all start? It was with Gags the Green Bay Clown. In June and early August, people reported seeing a clown holding black balloons in Wisconsin, but they didn't think much of it. As creepy as it was, they assumed it was for like a movie promotion or something like that, which it actually turned out to be. Nothing was made of the clown because he wasn't really doing anything wrong. Now this is where things get weird. At the end of August in Greenville, South Carolina, which is almost a thousand miles away from Wisconsin, clowns were reportedly trying to lure children into the woods. And this is when the news outlets started picking up on these clown stories. The clowns were reportedly spotted a few times and even tried luring the kids into the woods with money, candy, and even a machete. Fast forward to September 14th, where a 12 year old boy and his brother told police in Georgia that they were chased by a group of men in clown costumes. And just a few days later, on September 21st, there was reports coming out of Pottsville, Pennsylvania, that a clown was chasing another 12 year old through a park. Brianne Hawk said the clowns were, I quote, eating something in the woods and started chasing them through the park before turning back to go into the woods. Apparently, the clowns then returned throwing sticks and yelling curse words at them. September 23rd, 20 year old Jonathan Martin is arrested in Kentucky for dressing up as a clown and scaring people. And on September 24th in Palm Beach, Florida, a woman who was on her daily walk told police she saw two killer clowns. Now, although they didn't attack her or anything, she was clearly scared enough that she reported the sighting to the local police. On September 28th in Long Island, people reported that clowns were actually jumping out in front of their cars. I don't know if I mind that because running them over really wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Let's also not forget getting into October now. All the Halloween stores are now open and are fully stocked with different costumes, including clown masks, wigs, makeup, you get the point. Making it much easier for people to have access to things they obviously wouldn't if it were, you know, I don't know, maybe mid-March. September 30th, the New York Times reported that approximately 12 clowns across 10 states had been arrested or charged with making false reports or threats or chasing people. On that same day, schools in Houston were the subject of online threats. Reports believe the threats involved clowns coming to certain schools and attacking students and even teachers at the end of the day. Five schools were on high alert because of this, but nothing came of it. And in a totally unrelated incident, on that exact same day, two 17 year olds were arrested for robbing fast food restaurants in Phoenix, Arizona, wearing clown masks. In Newark, Ohio, on October 3rd, a video was posted online of two joggers running into a clown at 7.30 a.m. Although it seemed like it was a setup, it very well could have been real. The clown was walking the opposite way of the joggers across a bridge and was holding a knife. The joggers then yelled at him and then he turned around and slowly started walking towards them in a really creepy way before actually running towards them. No arrests were made in this case either. October 4th, a 13 year old girl from Virginia is arrested and charged with one count of threatening to kill by electronic message. She tried hiring a clown online to kill one of her teachers. What is going on in this world? That same day, 12 year old Bradley Prescott from Florida was arrested after making a Musical.ly account that said, hello I'm going to kill kids at Seven Springs Middle School on Friday the 7th of October 2016. Get ready 6th graders for your worst day and your last. That was the bio of his account. The account was actually named Clowning Around and its profile picture was of a creepy clown. Although it was a joke, Prescott was still arrested and charged. October 9th, a video of a man beating up a clown holding a bat on the side of the road goes viral. This video also seemed like it may have actually been set up, but some believed it to be real. Since being posted online and getting millions of views, it's been taken off of YouTube due to copyright infringement. That's a little strange, no? October 10th, 18 year old Connor Jones is arrested in South Wales for dressing up as a clown and scaring school children. He was fined 90 pounds and he will have a criminal record for the rest of his life. What a dummy. October 11th, Video surveillance shows a clown with a knife walking around someone's house trying to find an open door. This video was also assumed to be fake because the clown seemed to know the property a little too well and seemed more or less relaxed, even though he was literally trying to break into somebody's house. On that same day, 28 year old Simon Chinnery gets his fingers cut by a clown holding a knife in Blackburn, Lancashire. Although this could just be a prank gone wrong, still scary and makes me wonder why the clown was using a real knife to prank people. That same day a 17 year old was sent to the hospital and required stitches after a clown threw a branch at him and his friends before running off. It just so happens the branch hit this boy in the head and he started bleeding all over the place. And to cap it off on October 12th a woman claims two people in clown costumes were following her and threatened to kill her in Sweden. One day later on October 13th a man was stabbed in the shoulder by a clown in Sweden. That's pretty scary. No arrests were made in either of those cases as well. And there you have it guys. 
stories, at least for now. Should any other clown stories break, well, we'll keep you up to date as we always do. But now you're aware of every reported clown incident in the past month and a half or so. And trust me, there was a lot of them. Now I'll be reading some comments from a clown video, obviously. So in the video we did about the man being stabbed in the shoulder by a clown, I asked if you guys would rather be a killer clown and terrorize people, or just take the L and not live at all. Sarah CX MSP said, I'll rather be a clown but a nice one. And Matt Hatter said, I would rather not live at all so I could be in heaven. So there you have it, two sides of the spectrum. And then you have people like Nick Brusque who said, I'd rather be a killer clown. Just goes for it, doesn't even care if he kills people. He'd rather just live and kill people than not live at all. Which, you know what, you can't blame him. I guess people about, like value life that much that they're willing to be murderers. I don't know. I don't even know what I would choose if I'd rather be a killer clown or kill people. I feel like being a killer clown would hurt for some reason. I don't know. Anyways guys, that is it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. And of course, happy Halloween.